Hello, this is a very simple video tutorial for Midas NFX. I will show you how to create this 3D bracket and how to make FEA analysis on it. First, we'll go into the software and open a new project. Click on OK and select the box tool in order to create your uh, bracket model. You can change the weight of the model by taking 80. Click on the origin to put the box here. Click on isometric one to uh, make the view more closer from your model. And now what we'll do is to move the walk plane. So by right clicking you can choose the option move walk plane. Now to choose this face you have to select here face and now you're able to define the walk plane on this face. Click on OK to move this and click on normal to view the normal view. Now we'll just use the rectangle tool in order to create the shape we will uh, extrude on this bracket so enter the dimensions you need for your bracket okay uh, we will make a face with this so click on make face and select these four edges Now come back in the isometric view and uh, you can move again the wall plane, reset to the origin and we will extrude this face so in this direction select the option uh, normal to profile and for the lens uh, enter 90 and here you have to check make solid, extrude and cut then you can check the preview and you will see the shape of your bracket so seems like uh, 90 is a bit short so let's choose 93 okay click on OK. Now we don't need this surface anymore, we can hide it. To hide more efficiently you can go into the model walk tree and extend the geometry tools and here you can hide the curves, you can hide the surface and only let the solids if you need. Now we will create some, we will divide this face of the bracket in order to create uh, to create an angle so select divide solid and select the solid and for the dividing tool we will select three points plane now choose uh, the three points one uh, one here second here and the third here and if you view the preview if you click on the button preview you will have the preview of the cut plane here click on OK now you can uh, delete this and you have almost your bracket now just to create some holes so move again the wall plane on this face and we will create uh, two holes so you can uh, view it like that in order to view it better and to uh, diameter of 7.5 and you can do it again for the second hole. Uh, we will use the translation tool in order to assure that 
the direction between the distance between these two holes will be uh, as we want select this direction and select copy now enter the distance between the two holes uh, which will be 10 let's do close let's choose 30 a bit too close again 40 okay looks good okay now um, come back to the isometric view and to do the hole we will use again the extrude option using the extended functions here so uh, yes select uh, yes you have to click here edge to select your holes directly select the direction and uh, click on reverse direction make solid extend geometry cut preview looks good okay now you have your bracket uh, you just have to mesh it so before meshing it we will uh, assign some material properties and some element properties so by default alloy steel is already assigned to your model uh, you can modify it or you can directly select a new material you can also directly select the material you want inside the material library so I will select an aluminium alloy and click on close now I have to create a 3D property for my mesh 3D property using this material okay now that I've done that, I can mesh it using the 3D mesher. Click and use the high speed tetra mesher. You can preview the size of the mesh. Look, the size seems okay. You have some more extended options if you click on this button. So here I will uncheck high order elements, but if you want more accuracy, you always have to use second order uh, tetra mesh. It's always better for the accuracy. Click on OK, apply. Okay, now I got my mesh, and looks a bit small, but it's okay. And we have to apply uh, some loads and boundary condition to this model, of course. So I will click on constraint here select face and select these four faces for your bracket so we will fix these two faces uh, we'll pin them sorry apply and apply a pressure to this uh, side of the bracket so click on pressure and select face select this face again we will use a normal pressure uh, for the value of the pressure you have to take uh, we'll take the big pressure of 1000 newton per okay now you can directly uh, create your analysis by clicking in general static linear static analysis you have all these types of analysis in NFX here we will just perform linear static click on OK and perform the analysis now basically you have three types of results the total displacement the form is a stress and the solid uh, safety factor so uh, you can directly view the animation like that it's interesting to see the stress too and as I told you uh, 
in order to get better results for the stress, it's better to use second order elements. So this is why it looks a bit strange. Now you can use the clipping plane to cut your model and view uh, the stress in any uh, plane. You can like that or cut it really uh, where you want to see uh, your results. You have the ISO surface too, so you can see where the stress is maximum. So of course here the maximum is around the two pinned holes. Now, um, if you want to see more results, you can always insert analysis results and get more uh, information. For example, for the solid stress, you have all these kind of stresses. Uh, you can view the reaction, the total force, for example. Uh, you can view the mesh convergence error, the grid forces. For example, if you view the total force, you have the force applied to the holes. Uh, by the pinned uh, constraint. If you use total applied force, you have the force of the pressure which is applied on this face. You can also um, view directly on your model the stress. You can view a curve like that, so you can select the middle of these two faces, click and apply, and you will see minimum and maximum of the stress on here. What you can do also is use the probe tool in order to get uh, the result at any point of your model. So near the holes on this side, on the side where you apply the pressure. And you have different options for the view. You can view the fringe view also to have a view like that. You can add the contour lines. Okay, it's all for these uh, videos. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more information about NFX, you can go on our website www dot mydasnfx dot com